Mal video. Today we're going to be looking at some animation true stories and I'm going to be hosting with Agent J. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. It's maybe basically me doing a video with my friend called H and call me J. Anyway, so we're going to dive right into the video and yeah. Family had about me. I saw their shadows talking and saying the most Whoops. terrible. No. All right. I was having a nightmare. I knew I was, but I couldn't wake up. I heard all the thoughts that my family had about me. I saw their shadows talking and saying the most terrible things. You don't belong with us. You don't look like us. You're hideous. How can I have a daughter this ugly? Your face makes me want to vomit. Suddenly, I was facing a mirror, and I focused on my eyes that were the only beautiful thing on my face. I smashed my fist against the mirror. Shards of glass flew everywhere as it broke into a million that? pieces. There was one jagged... 100% too far. Sorry, Layla. Laylac, you're going way too far. Whatever her name is, Laylac. A piece too left far. in the mirror, and I could see my eyes glaring back at me. My eyes were red and tortured. I screamed out loud. That's when I finally woke up. My heart was pounding in the darkness. After a few moments, I heard footsteps running to my room. The door flew open, and the light in the hallway illuminated my family. My dad, my mom, and my younger sister stood there. Even in... Younger. Younger. Hey, her and her sister look absolutely different. Her and her family members look actually diff absolutely different. But I'm not saying that's bad. I'm saying that's unique. I like her. In the half light, I was struck by how good looking they all are. My dad flipped on the light switch and they finally saw me. She looks better. She looks way cuter. Sitting up on my bed, they saw the only ugly member of the family. I had just woken up from a bad dream, but I was still living a nightmare. But before I continue with the story. Obviously, she was still living a nightmare. And what else would she be living? A dream? Or just. I'm. Uh, I'll have you know, I'm not living a dream. I'm just living my life. I'm living my life. Hashtag life squad. Please click the like and subscribe button. Jenna ran to hug me tight. Were you having- Great, I thought, it doesn't say, if you click the subscribe button, you're gonna, if you hit the subscribe button, then you, something really good's gonna happen to you. You just hit the subscribe button, which is okay. A nightmare? She asked. I nodded. But behind Jenna, I heard my mom Why would she not? Sniff. She was still standing by the door. Oh my god, all this fuss because of a- They all look so different! Like, he, he, they all look so different. Silly nightmare, I swear that you're only doing this to disturb my beauty sleep, she said. Come on, Jenna, let's go back to our beds. Jenna kissed me on the cheek. Why would she do that? I thought she was with him. It's only a dream, she whispered before she left. It's all better now. Why is she being so nice? Go back to sleep. My dad, my mom, and Jenna looked like models. And they knew it. My mom is also very vain. I know I'm a great disappointment to her. Jenna is the apple of her eye because she's growing up to be a great beauty, just like our mother. When I woke up the next day, she scolded me because I poured out a lot of cereal in my bowl. Scolded whatever happened to saying, oh, it was just a dream, be careful. How many times do I have to keep on reminding you that too much sugar is bad for your skin? That's why you have so many pimples. Jenna said she was going out to see her friends. My mom gave her a kiss and held Jenna's lovely face in her hands. But instead of saying, I love you, or take care, or have fun, she said something that only my mother thought was important enough. Don't forget your sunscreen. I had no plans of- Don't forget your sunscreen. Ugh. All that Saturday, so I just went back to my room and started to write some song lyrics again. I pulled out my new guitar that I bought with allowance, and I was trying to find the perfect tune to the words on the page. If I smile, will I be beautiful? Is there beauty hiding inside? Yes, there be beauty hiding inside you if you're gonna say that. Me will have beauty's hiding inside you. Inside you, I, I, I can't believe you said that. You must make me beautiful. I need to find out who I'm meant to be. I was starting to feel better about myself, but then my mom walked in the door. Put away that uh, silly. Classic mom walking in the door, ruining everything. Thing she said. This is more important. She handed me a tub with something like fine sand. Love is way more important. Not beauty. I like it. all of them think beauty. Even the main character thinks beauty is more important. And like she's only worrying about beauty. Worry about the love. And inside, she said it was a facial mask. She said that it had special ingredients that would clear up my skin. Hopefully, it will cure your acne. How did she work? Oh. She's gonna make it worse. She said with exasperation. I'm running out of ideas on how to help your complexion. I read the instructions on the tub. 
I had to mix it with some vinegar and smear it all over my face. It was green and felt weird. It smelled disgusting. Prank! But after the initial reaction, it actually felt kind of nice and refreshing. My mom told yeah, me right. to keep it on my face for as long as I could. Although the packaging said that I should just keep it on for one hour, I decided to keep it on longer. No! Don't do that! You're already messing things up! I used it for three consecutive days for ten... Okay, girl, we only got through four minutes of the video, and you're already going to mess something up. God. God. Ten hours each day. The itching ten was unbearable on the third day. My face felt like it was on fire. I ran to the bathroom to wash it off. I could see patches of my skin underneath the green gunk. There were raised bumps on my face. I looked at myself in the mirror. Classic mom. Screamed. My whole family ran to the bathroom to see what was happening, but this wasn't a nightmare. My already ugly face was puffed up like a balloon. It was covered with a nasty red rash. My eyes were down to slits. I can't move my face. You know, there's more important things than beauty. Face, I tried to say, but of course they couldn't understand what I was saying. Then I felt a tightness in my chest. I couldn't breathe. My dad practically carried me out to the car to bring me to the emergency room. The nurses I gasped they when they saw me. They were horrified and terrified. The doctor said that I was having a really bad allergic reaction to something. My mom tried to tell them that I just used a facial mask. How long did you keep it on? The doctor asked me quickly. Three days, I mumbled. What? My mom cried in shock. They asked me where I got the mask. I looked at- What do you mean, what? You're the one who told her to. My mom. She looked utterly embarrassed. I just ordered it online, she mumbled. The company claimed that it could clear really bad acne. But it turned out that a lot of face masks sold online are full of questionable ingredients, like formaldehyde. That's the stuff they use to preserve dead bodies. My mom was kind of freaking out by then. The doctors gave me some extra strength medicine, and it helped me breathe a little. Of course she's freaking out. A little easier. But the chemicals had apparently entered my blood. She's not freaking out about the breathing. She's freaking about, uh, uh, out about, you know, uh, about how ugly her face is. I don't know the ugly, uh, bloodstream the only way to stop my reaction completely was to give me a blood transfusion they tested my blood and found out that i had type b blood my parents also got their blood tested so they could donate it but they were type a we can't use that one of the older nurses said their blood is incompatible uh, then I'm like in victorious nice another nurse whispered to the doctors that they were out of type a and type b blood my mother was about to throw a fit when she overheard it. But then we heard another commotion in the ER. Another family rushed into the hospital. They brought in a girl who was in a car accident. I heard one of the older nurses say that the girl was applying her makeup while driving. There was only a thin sheet between our- Oh my god, are they gonna talk about something other than makeup? Beds. I heard the doctor say that the girl needed blood too. My husband and I are type B, a female voice said. I assumed it was the mother. Stacy is probably the same. But they tested her blood, and she was type A. They had a shortage of reserved blood from the hospital, and the girl and I needed transfusions right away. I waved at the older nurse. Somehow, with my mumbled speech, I managed to tell her to just switch the donors. The girl's parents could give me their blood, my parents could donate to the other girl. That's a great idea, the nurse replied, and she- Why don't you think of it? She's a nurse. Quickly made it happen. After a while, the commotion in the ER quieted down. The other girl, whose name was apparently Stacy, was... St Where's the plot twist? And so was Where's I. Where's the plot the twist? Where's everything exciting? The older nurse came in and patted me on the arm. My name is Nurse Pam, by the way. She had a nice motherly smile. She said that she hoped that I was feeling better. And I was. I could breathe normally again, and my face wasn't puffed up anymore. Suddenly, my mom walked over to my bed. I smiled up at her and was about to thank her. But before I could say anything, her face got all angry. Why did you use that mask for three days? The doctors are blaming me for giving it to you in the first place, she muttered angrily. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. She was more worried about herself and not her own daughter. Then she added, what you did was so stupid. Then on the other side You're of the sheet, I could also hear Stacy's mother whispering angrily too. Why were you applying makeup while driving? You should have kept your eyes on the road. No more driving privileges for you. What you did was so stupid. Stacy and I answered our mothers at the same time. We both said, I just want to be pretty. Well, I want you to be pretty too. My mom finally burst out. That's very important. Stacy's mom, on the other hand, said, I don't care if you're pretty or not. That's not important at all. Then we all heard a gasp. Nur exactly, it's not important at all. Nurse Pam was standing on the opposite side of the room, staring at all of us. Her eyes darted from one side of the curtain to the next. 
I felt her eyes looking at me intently. Then she looked over to Stacy's bed. She clutched her heart and ran out of the room. What the hell was that about, my dad asked. Yeah. I had to stay in the hospital for a few days. Nice dad. One night, Nurse Pam went into my room after my parents had gone. She chatted with me, and I thought that she was really so nice to keep me company. She asked me a lot of the usual questions, but then she got more personal. She asked if I was feeling lonely or sad. She was being really nice, so I began to open up to her that I was actually feeling very insecure. I told her that I recently wrote some poetry about not being beautiful enough to be loved. I guess my mom wants me to be a different kind of girl, I told her. I'm not pretty enough for my family. When she heard that answer, Nurse Pam bit her lower lip, and she excused herself. I didn't see her again until the day before I got discharged. Again, she visited me after my parents left. This time, she asked if I wanted to visit someone. I was confused, but curious too. Who were we going to visit in the hospital? It turned out to be Stacy, who was in the next room to mine. She got a broken arm from her car accident, and she looked kind of pale. But what struck me the most about her was how much she looked like my sister Jenna. They had the same eyes and the same hair. They could pass as sisters. I needed to talk to you both. Because it is Jenna in disguise, Nurse Pam said. I have something very important to tell the both of you. Stacy and I were feeling very weirded out by now, but we had no choice but to listen to what the nurse had to say. And she said the most crazy thing. Sixteen years ago, when I was just starting out at this hospital, we had a major internal problem. There was one nurse who was charged with switching babies in the nursery. I checked both your records. It turned out that you were both born. Stacy's pretty eyes got big too. You see, Nurse Pam continued. I was the one who caught that nurse switching two babies, and I was able to switch them back. We thought that it was the only time that it happened, but apparently I'm looking at two girls who were switched at birth too. She was looking right at us. My mouth they fell were open. switched at birth? Crazy! in shock. I couldn't say a word. Stacy, on the other hand, had a lot of words to say. I knew it! I knew I was too pretty to belong to my family. Apart from appearances, nothing they do makes sense to me. They keep telling me that I shouldn't even bother with my looks because my mom and my dad don't think it's important enough. That's the exact opposite of what my mom says, I told her. Then I turned back to Nurse Pam. How did you know? What tipped you off? Nurse Pam explained that it was our blood types. When both parents are type A, their child should be type A or type O only. The same goes for parents. Guys, I'm in a really, really big rush, so I'm sorry I ran out in the video right here. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll see you right next time. But before I say goodbye, listen, we are going to do another H and J video, and it's going to be really fun. Bye.